so good morning friends so we'll see in the next chapter this is erection section 7 first i see is we see 6 and 8 and then 7 because then the numbers are just divided into two equal about equal what welding process is not permitted when impact testing of the material is required oxy fuel oxy fuel oxy acetylene welding is not permitted when an impact testing is required <clears throat> paragraph 7.2.1.1 welding may be performed manually automatically semi automatically according to the procedure described in section 9 of asme code this is api 650 paragraph 7.2.1.1 No welding of any kind, any kind, shall be performed when the temperature of the base metal is less than zero degrees Fahrenheit. This paragraph seven point two point one point three, even six fifty three says so. So you have to follow this. Not perfectly, you can see everything there, but this combination of things. <coughs> Now, when base metal thickness is greater than one point two five inches. <coughs> or base metal temperature is 0 to 32 degree centigrade fahrenheit what requirement must be met the base metal within 3 inches of the starting point of the welding shall be heated to a temperature warm to the hand the yeah. body the maximum acceptable undercut of the horizontal bar joint 1 by 32 inch So horizontal. One by thirty-two vertical, one sixty-four. Eight point five point two. There also eight point five point two. I think. I don't. <coughs> This is the maximum acceptable undercut for vertical joints. Eight point five point two. One by sixty-four. Vertical bar joints. For the maximum permissible welder reinforcement for vertical joint in a plate thickness of one point two five. So here thickness you have to see. So you'll find three by sixteenth inch. There is paragraph eight point eight point five point two D. So when tack welded weights are used during the assembly of vertical joint. What requirement is stipulated by API six fifty? Tack welds that are to be left in place shall be made using qualified procedure and welder. Already you see all these things. Even this one, because this one is I can find here. Six fifty three yes. What is the requirement when protective coatings are used on the surface of, to be welded? The coatings shall be included in the welding procedure qualification if. This is protective. You say the metallic coatings, not not non-metallic coatings. So it should be included in the procedure qualification. If it is included in the welding, if you grind it out, no problem. The welding of the cell to bottom weld shall be practically complete prior to welding. Building out the bottom joints. In a vertical joint of an AST, the bog ground. Storage tank that is AST. What is the maximum missile alignment? One point five inch thick plate. Maximum missile alignment is one. It is minimum of ten percent or one by eight, I think so. So it is point one two five inch. And then if it is horizontal, it is one by 
sixteenth, I think so. Well, that's how it is. Point zero six two five. Plate thickness is point two five inch. So it is greater than. It is less than. There's so many things are there. But it is horizontal. This is vertical. It's twenty percent or one sixteenth inch. Something like that. Okay. Multipass weld procedures are required for circumferential and vertical joints in tank cell course constructed of material that more than 1.5 inches thick. What is the maximum weld size permitted and what is the minimum pre-heat temperature? You see 10.4.3653 for horizontal and vertical joints of tank cell course constructed of material over 1.5 inch thick over based on thickness of the thicker plate of the joint, multipass weld procedures are required. That is more than 1.5. Okay, multipass weld procedures are required with no pass more than 3 4 inch thick permitted. So as per 650, there is something changed. I don't know, this is, but minimum preheat is 200 degrees for night, 3 4 inch. This answer is this one. The initial weld pass inside the cell and cell to bottom belt shall be cleaned and examined for entire circumference. This examination shall visually and by which of the following mag magnetic particle or suitable liquid penetrant process or a vacuum box and bubble method. So any of these methods can be used. The required examination for initial weld pass as described in APA 650 may be waived, subjected to agreement between purchaser and AST manufacturer, provided all but which examine either side furnish of the weld by MTPT UTRT. No, this is all but which. This is not required. Examine either side of finished weld by MTPT or right, ang right angle vacuum box. Visually examine the initial weld inside and outside. Visually examine the finished joint. Welded surface inside and outside the cell. Uh, what? Those are okay. And well, not okay is this one. MTPT, UTRT. So what are the dimensions of standard vacuum test box? There is 8.6.1, you will find it. What are the dimensions? 6 inch wide and 30 inch long. In an examination of tank bottom weld seams by vacuum box testing, what is the required partial vacuum pressure? At least three LBF PSI pounds per square inch PSIG or gauge PSIG to 5 PSIG. If an alternative to vacuum box testing is what is approved? So whose approval is required? The purchaser. After fabrication of completed but prior to filling an above ground storage tank is test water ranging plate shall be tested. What method of test and pressure shall be used? A pneumatic pressure test at up to 15 PSI. Seven point three point five. The reinforcing plates. These are tested. Hmm. In the reinforcing pad hole, till till hole, and you can test this pneumatic pressure test 15 psi. A new above ground storage tank must be tested. If the water is available for testing the cell, the tank shall be filled to any of the following levels except to overflowing to ensure all air is vented from the tank. Uh, 
The purchaser of an ST that is designed to be gas tight required the roof of the tested pneumatic fan. What maximum pressure would be applied to tank with 1 by 4 inch thick roof plates? Maximum pneumatic pressure permitted is 0 0.071 psi. This one I had not found anything like this. <clears throat> Just remember this, I don't know. One zero seven five seven one PSI. Numerical test you have to check somewhere. For gas tight tightness of rope, maybe in six fifty three somewhere. These two I had checked. Not found anything. I have to search and tell you. So during the filling of an above ground storage tank for testing, leakage was observed in a horizontal seam. Repairs are to be completed with test water in the tank. And the tank is 61 foot high and the leak is discovered 29 feet below the top of the tank. So remaining is how much? 32 feet. So where must be the water level be during the repair? And that is what he is asking. And the water level shall not be less, less than 30 feet from the top of the tank. But it cannot be go up to 32 to weld. So that is what you can just, because you need two foot for welding and all accessories. A 60 foot high above ground storage tank designed with an internal floating roof. Uh, what is the maximum out of plumbness? Out of plumbness is 1 by 2 hundredths of the columns, 54.5 foot fixed roof columns. So you have to take a one two hundred of this for three point two seven inches. Fifty four point five into twelve divided by two hundred. So one two hundred. So what is the maximum roundness tolerance? <coughs> Radius tolerance permitted in HD that is hundred ten foot. There is a table just follow seven point five point three. 3 by 4 inch measured 1 foot above the bottom of the corner world. So it is written 3 by 4 inch. So you have to measure above above the bottom corner world. So just take it like that. So 
So picking and bending are determined using horizontal sweep board and picking and straight is vertical sweep board for bending. What is the required length of these sweep boards? 36 inches for both. Already we see in 653. This is a repetition. The top of the concrete ring wall AST must be level plus minus one eighth of any 30 feet of the circumference. What is the total circumferential tolerance measured from the average elevation? One fourth inch. So where concrete ring wall is not provided, the foundation under the cell shall be level to plus minus one by eight in 10 inch. Not provided, it is provided. So one by four thing, four inch. The circumferential and plus minus half inch in the total circumference measured. So it is one by eight inch and the one by four inch in the total circumferential tolerance measured from average elevation. So there is if top of the ring, if a concrete ring wall is provided or not provided, there are two differences. One by eight inch remains same. This is come 30 feet, this is come 10 feet. And this remains, this is one by four, this is half. For foundation specified in sloped from the horizontal plane, the actual elevation shall not debate from the calculated difference by more than which of the following where concrete ring walls are provided. So one eight inch and a 30 inch of the circumference and one by four in the total circumference. Just repeat it. If the foundation specified to be sloped in a horizontal plane, there is a special clause for this, but these are repetition of things. Right? So one eight inch and a ten inch, ten foot of the circumference and happy. Here one by eight. Here one by four. That is the difference. So one by eight, sorry, one by eight is remaining same. Here is half, here is one by fourth. And this thirty foot and this is ten foot, sorry. Okay. We'll stop here.